it's part two time for Dragon Quest Builders 2, except I actually look at my recordings after recording them, so I lowered the game audio, because it was hella too loud. Oh yeah, and also this stupid area starts with, um, the really long, annoying text. <laughs> like the unstoppable text of Doom. It's a 10 minute cutscene, essentially. <laughs> you know, I'll be reasonable. It's like 5 minutes, which is still a lot for unskippable text that actually tells you nothing if there's an ad story that isn't needed at all to the top of the story. Which is kinda needed, but also, I guess, kinda not. Oh lord, hurry up already. If you were on Earth in 2000 years later. <laughs> this has literally no audio, and I'm just gonna show you how annoying the text is, so. I'll be honest, I stopped paying attention because it takes so long, but we're here now. Which is cool, huh? Oh yeah, I don't have to kite yet. <laughs> I just came in here like if I remembered. But yeah. For some reason I came in here thinking I was just coming here for no reason. Like super late game, but no, it's early game, I forgot. Let's see, how long will it take for this tiny cutscene? This cutscene's never in this game. Just cutscene after cutscene after cutscene after cutscene. 
And then when you're done with the game, it's just sleep after sleep after build after build after sleep after build after sleep after build. <laughs> it's essentially after you're done with the story, and then once you're done with the story, it's just run around, talk, run around, get interrupted by stupid cutscenes, and just... Yeah. I've done this so many times that it just gets boring after a while. And plus, I still need to finish one of the stupid builds I am working on. I've finished it working on Grumble Carts, but I'm working on another one, which is not done edited, being edited yet. But I think if I want to, I can finish it. Today. If I start working on it, could like work on it right after this, I can finish the exterior today. Which I don't have anything to put in the interior currently, which is why I don't have a reason to do the interior currently. So yeah. Wait, right, let's go. To the farm, please. Let's steal a rock. It's not like I need a rock, but I'm gonna steal a rock. Oh, look, it's for a field. Let's go. I think I want to get through the basics. Now, interestingly enough, you can actually dodge the cutscene and go right to that wheat. But the annoying thing is, if you collect it, it just gets deleted. You don't get the wheat for it, which is fair enough, since if you got the wheat, then that would break some of the game. I'm not gonna do building in this episode. I'm not sure how much building I will do in the next one. Because they do want you to build, but I hate this, like, farm with a passion because it takes, it's so much work to clear it out. It's like three hits or something like that per block. So it takes like four hours to flatten this thing out. And I hate needing to flatten it out. But you kind of just have to. If you want to do a mega build. Now I've done the same like mega build twice. I don't really... The one I did um, for the playthrough that I... Where the combo cards was on. Was a similar-ish concept. It was essentially a dome around like the center kind of. But I might do a big dome, because that might honestly just work. Oh, but you can't get glass in this game. Well, you can, but you can get windows, but they suck. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see what we can do. Because honestly, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I don't remember what I'm collecting. Um, I need... I know I need wood and string for a scarecrow. I need weeds. Yeah, that's the thing that gets expensive. It's these, like, weeds or whatever. What are they called? Dry grass. The stupid dry grass, which is such a pain. When it comes to scarecrows. It's just like entirely to dry grass, really. Boom, dry grass after dry grass. Collecting dry grass with a passion. We're gonna collect it all tonight. I'm being lazy and I don't know what I'm doing honestly, but at least I can make a scarecrow. <laughs> Let's 
which is what they want me to do. So they hoe it up, then we can plant or whatever if it is they want to do. And now they're gonna interrupt me again because they love doing that. <laughs> Damn hands with a hoe. That's that's good. Yeah, I just have to sit here waiting for them to do everything. Which is essentially the entirety of this chapter. <laughs> you have to sit here and wait for them to do the fields. You have to sit here and wait for them to har well, harvesting and planting. You do it yourself. Because they don't really do it much. You have to sit here and watch them give you gratitude. Which is what we just collected. But since we've not done it before. It's going to have to give us the cutscene. Which is going to make sure we not want to plow the ground. I finished the job already please. There you go, making progress, you know, it's gonna take some time. Keep it going. At this point I might as well just go collect the wood. <laughs> Make hey, perfect. You did a good job. Give me seeds. Or something. Yeah. Seeds. I'm gonna just plant them wherever, because this farm is garbage anyway. <laughs> right now, at least. I don't love the blocks that you get given for this chapter. You get two types of wood blocks. But once you make it to the Owl of Awakening, you get like a bajillion of them. Which is not really worth coming back. Like going back to the Owl of Awakening. Just to come back there, because, yeah, so, I don't know, I'll have to figure out how I want to build the dome. Because if I want to build the dome, it's going to have to be built in a way that it stays in the boundaries, which... We're going to lose somebody outside, but actually, losing somebody outside might be good, because I'll have some fields on the outside and the, some buildings on the inside. I don't know, I'll figure something out. My original plan was exactly what I just said, except it went out to like here. Because the, the, the farms are not centered at all in this game for some reason. Like, this is the center piece, which is gonna be the tea tree. Ever from there to here. Well, it's like right here. It is way shorter than from there to over there. Or there to there is way longer, shorter than there to there. Because the boundary over here doesn't stop like here. It goes to here. So like... It's not centered, ever. <laughs> so you have to base yourself off of the outline, or just that center piece. Which I think I'll have to base myself off of the outline, honestly. What does this need? Like, what do you build this out of voice boards at all? Yeah. Of course. Um. The sill will have to be shaved at some point, honestly, so. Might as well just do it now. Well, not these blocks, because you can't mind them. But. I will. Remove a decent amount of grass off of this. Because this corner is going to need to be cut off a bit. I don't know if I'm going to really do any landscaping for this. It's just going to be essentially chop this thing down. It would be nice if you could get the water to go somewhere else, but we can't. Like, if you can actually open this hole up here more and then have the water go out on the other way would be kind of cool. This is going to make a mess, but I don't really care because it's a fixable mess. 
If it can be fixed, it is fine. do now wait for them to I'll probably wait for them to water and after that I think we're gonna be base level one which is gonna be good yeah wait for Rosie to water the cabbages I guess well if she does that I'll clean up the shack this is your local shacks here because what is this <laughs> shacks united or something Well, here I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay, so the soil is wet or whatever. Can't get them all before they're harvested, though. Oh, they want me to harvest them. Okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Although I hate that the, all the houses that are already here are always built incorrectly. <laughs> Just the brown blocks are the floor, and then the beige blocks are the walls, but the buildings that are already here are the complete opposite. Which is kinda annoying. The floor just has to be slightly dent fixed, but like... Half the floor has to be fixed on this one. Most of it is already there. I don't know why this house is six. So it's four wide on the inside. Interesting. Okay, then I probably can't do this entirely with 20 blocks. But I can fill most of it. Actually, I'm straight up like one block away. I'm just gonna take one hand instead of craft one. Because <laughs> I still need to craft the walls. Because walls don't craft themselves. So I can't craft the walls yet. <laughs> I need to look at the base level up, so I need to get these crops to be ready first. Okay, well. I don't know what to do in the meantime. I mean, this is gonna be a house building, whatever you wanna do with it. I don't know what to do with it. Just gonna collect all the floorboard blocks since I'm probably gonna need them at some point or another. There's the crops, alright, I'll go collect some. Boom, boom, boom. Harvest some crops, harvest some cabbages. Your quest is done, and so are you. Alright, well they're mad again, because they're just Captain Poopy Pants. But, what I can do is, not only this will hopefully finally be the stupid bell, yes thank god, but also, this should apparently let me plant these because I didn't even notice I had seeds in my hotbar. Right. Bing, 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 ring, ring the bell. Bing! <laughs> Just a farm and a bunch of farmers. Rain. We have a farm, a bunch of people. That's actually not that many people. Me and my lot plus three people is actually really not that many. <laughs> but yet again, this particular island doesn't get that many villagers. It does get a decent amount, but if you compare it to Moonbrook and Cumberland, it's nowhere near. 
come to none in Moonbrook, it's like six or eight people at a bell ring. This chapter's like two to three. I don't know why it's called the light bulb, but... Look, it's the magical glowing ray of doom, because it exists. Soft soil in a nutshell. Oh, well, the tea tree is now planted. They're gonna keep talking to me for 20 more minutes until I actually finally don't let them do it. I know I will have to. And now Pastor Al is here because they can never stop talking. And I want to save the game and end this video, but I have to deal with Pastor Al now. Luckily I won't have to for long because they're going to actually let me exit the game for two seconds. But that was it for this episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. I'm going to go try and maybe finish the stupid spiel build that I've been working on currently. And um, yeah. See you next time.